In this episode, we're delving into the world of chocolate making, a Vietnamese style. Today, we're heading to Aluvia. Located in Tin Zang, to take on one of this country's up and coming specialties, chocolate. We'll be going through the whole process of how it's farmed and turned into what you'll eventually eat in the shops, or turned into a variety of products you've seen or heard before. It all starts here. Our guide Ben met us outside. Yeah, it's like the, um, you know, the beans and they have like the furry white outside. Yeah. And when you eat it, it's a bit sour. Right, right. You know, right. like a sour soap? Yeah, yeah. It's big. First off, we collected the cacao pods. So, we went onto the farm and started collecting from the cocoa trees. Also learn how to properly take them off the tree as to not ruin the pods. We were then tasked with breaking the pods and retrieving cacao beans. We also had the lucky privilege to be supervised by the owner of the farm and the company. Then we will walk through the process of what will happen with those beans after pulling them out of the pods and the whole process. When the fermenting is done, the cacao beans are then sun dried. During this stage, you can actually smell the chocolate in the air. Then all the bad beans are hand-picked and removed to make sure only the highest quality beans get through. The drying process takes one to two weeks. During this process, the color changes from a red-brown to a dark brown bean. This is in the air tech area. When they don't have their currency, they use days as a currency. Really? So once the whole drying process is complete, it is then moved into the roasting period where they'll go through all the machines to make it into the chocolate that you'll eventually know. <laughs> The awesome thing is that anything that is left over can and usually is recycled or reused into some leftover food for say livestock and whatnot. So it's always recycled and reused, it's never gone to waste. The Vietnamese chocolate actually has a unique taste to it, which is that it's slightly more sour than the average chocolate that's produced around the world. Thanks to the alluvium in the soil along the Mekong Delta. And now we were tasked with packaging the chocolate.
chocolate bar ever. Why? Did the husband, the daughter and the son-in-law or something, they went to overseas and learned how to make um, chocolate. Oh, wow. Mm. So guys, the tour is only 200,000 per person, probably like 12 bucks, but it's worth it, man. And we have the whole thing to ourselves, the whole experience to ourselves. So you get to try a variety of chocolate. Especially you make your count. Liqueur made also from the chocolate. And you get to take home the bars you made. After finishing up, we then went out and explored Tinzang. One place we wanted to really check out in the area was the Tang Dong Temple, 300 year old ruins. After finishing up, we just spent time roaming around the fields and just taking in the natural beauty that is always Vietnam.